Okay, so I really like going out and seeing frogs or any kind of animal in the wild. Like, just going out with the intention of seeing wildlife, basically. And in my teenage years, and my young childhood years, when I was a kid, <laughs> I would go to like the local pond or the local river and try to see if I could see any frogs and just try to catch them if I could and if I could, you know, just, just hold them, just look at them, give them little names and put them back. It was, I just like doing it and I still do it even though I'm 31. I'm 31 years old and I still go out and try to catch frogs. So why am I single? I figured since I'm gonna do that anyway, I might as well make a video out of it and bring you guys along with me. I don't know why. I don't think that anyone will enjoy it as much as I do and that's fine. I'm probably gonna hate this video and not even wanna put it out and that's fine too. <laughs> so I apologize in advance. It's if you, it's probably gonna be horrible, I'm sorry. Also, before we start, I wanna give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Patrons? Are they called patrons? Huge, huge shout out to you guys, because honestly, I appreciate it more than you even know. It does more for me than you honestly probably know. <laughs> and I've been really enjoying the video calls we've been having and the chats we've been having, so I really, really appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so, so much. Niall, Robert, Tiny, and everyone else that's supporting on different tiers. I love you guys so much. Okay. Let's go get some frogs. So I just got to the conservation area and the parking and the entrance is closed. So that's kind of stupid. I'm guessing that's a COVID thing. Because fuck me, God forbid I go to a park, right? Ontario, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're the worst. I guess I'll be driving around for another little bit until I can find some kind of water and hope that there's frogs in it. Great. I just saw a dog on the trail and he came up to sniff me and lick me and the owner told him to stop and kept walking. Now I'm sad. The one thing this trail is making me realize is, fuck, your girl's out of shape. <laughs> Ooh, it shouldn't be this hard. Oh my God, I almost walked through this path. Look what I would have walked into. Fuck. It looks like there's a little animal fight here. Can you not? Shh. <laughs> Fucking rude, yo. Good thing I didn't wear my heels, am I right, folks? Any frogs? Do you guys see any frogs? Aww. Oh, Mr. Bumblebee. Oh, God. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought that was a rock. <laughs> oh no, I made such a mistake. So it's starting to get a little bit dark and I'm by myself. I did that thing again where I go to a strange place by myself and nobody knows where I am and I, <laughs> my bad. I'm like a two hour drive outside of Toronto, so maybe even three, I don't even know. I don't even know where I am. So I'm gonna go home and try to find some more frogs another day. So, time to go home and cry. Just kidding. Time to go home and play video games. <laughs> we can't go because the geese are crossing the road. <laughs> oh, those little babies! After I left Canadian Tire, I was hungry. It's 8 p.m. I haven't eaten anything today. I've been running around doing a few things. So I decided to get some food. I got some A&Ws. I was looking for a spot to pull over and eat it. I pulled into a warehouse parking lot and I was gonna eat it there. And I said to myself, Sinead, while you are trash, you can do better than this. So now I'm on some side street in the middle of nowhere, 
eating my A&W. Just pulled over like an asshole eating my A&W. I know I'm trash. You guys don't gotta tell me this. Like, look at me right now. I look like absolute trash and I am trash. And there's literally flies trying to get into my car right now. I am the epitome of trash, but not trashy enough to eat my A&W in a warehouse. <laughs> oh, there's a van coming. This is awkward. This is such a lonely road. And now there's gonna be a van watching me eat my A&W. Like, go away. Don't you have a job? Oh, he's turning. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Don't you have a job? I say to him someone who's jobless anyway Park closes in 10 minutes and I'm like 10 minute walk from the entrance, so I have to see a toad. I just have to. I hear them. Like, look at this place. And no toads? I'm a sad girl. I think today is another write off. I'm gonna have to leave because the park is closing. They're gonna close the gate, and my car is in the parking lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go home now. I'm not giving up hope though. I will see a toad. I can see a fucking goat, can't see a toad. So I asked the guy at the front gate when I was coming in, um, do you know a good spot to catch frogs in here? And he was like, um, um, probably on the water. And like he was, de he was dead ass. Like he, he was not joking around. He meant like, yeah, you could probably try and find them on the water. <laughs> I was like, damn it, I've been looking at the trees. Thanks, man. But I'm here at the swamp. Like this is literally a swamp next to this lake. And like, there's no frogs. There's just no frogs. Swamps are like frogs, right? You, the two go hand in hand, but no, there's no frogs. And it was raining all day. It's chilly as fuck out here. Like this is the perfect time for them to come out. It's like evening, dusk, I think is called, and there's still no frogs. I don't understand. I need to find a frog. I don't even want to catch it. I don't want to touch it. I just want to see a frog. It never used to be this hard. I don't understand. Excuse me, sir. Where is the nearest frog, please? So day three, no frogs, no toads, nothing, except for that little crawfish, crayfish, lobster. <laughs> I think it was a lobster. Um, so I don't know, I'm sad, I'm really sad. This time I didn't even hear the toads coming out at night, I don't know why. And again, I had to leave before they closed their gate at nine. It's 9.15 right now, it's getting a little bit dark. I'm gonna try to drive around a little bit, see if I can even find just like a lone pond and just pull over and see if I can find some freaking frogs i don't understand i used to do this all the time and there was always toads or always frogs and now it's like i don't i don't get it can i blame global warming for this who can i blame for this i want to blame somebody thanks obama ah! i spent the day playing games and eating candy now i'm trying to catch some frogs pretty happy with where my life is right now <laughs> This is a little sketchy, but I just pulled off onto the side road here because I saw a swamp, as you can see. But it's really dark. I'm in the middle of nowhere. This was probably a really bad idea, but... Okay. <laughs> My car is over there. Let's just see really quickly. I don't want to fall in. Oh, shit. You can't see. And there's a car coming. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to run it back to my car. <laughs> So I think that might have been one of the dumbest things I've ever done. There was a sign that there's black bears in the area. And as I'm walking back from the swamp to my car, all I hear is like something shuffling in the forest and I couldn't see shit because it's pitch black. I'm like, okay, I'm just like shaking my keys as if that's gonna deter them. I'm like, don't mess with me. I've got my, my Honda key here, I'll get ya. <laughs> that was actually quite sketchy. I, shouldn't, I should not have done that. Don't do that. That was stupid. I'm gonna go home. Oh god, there's a huge moth in here. Look at this thing. I don't know if you can see it. Don't like that. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm going to try, I guess, again tomorrow. This is a four day video so far. So, uh, okay. <laughs> I will find a frog. I will. I will. Just not tonight. That was sketchy. <laughs> I 
think this is gonna be the day I see a toad. I can hear them, they're very loud, and look at the surroundings. Okay, I'm gonna have to check for ticks after this, that's for damn sure. This is sketchy. Ooh, okay, this feels like swamp that I'm stepping in right now. At least I wore long pants, guys, am I right? Oh my god, guys, oh my god, oh my god. That's a toad. That's a toad right there. There's no way I can get to it though, because this stands between us. But that's a toad! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Guys, this is the moment. Look at his little face. Oh, cute little toad. What a special little friend. Thanks for showing up, buddy. This is what we've worked so hard for, guys. It was, it's a little toad, it's right there. This whole time he was right here. This whole time. He was just sitting on his little lily pad. I feel good, I feel good. They're loud boys. It's not a real path. I'm walking through spider webs. Like, no doubt, am I right? So I did the thing. I did the thing that I've been trying to do for quite some time now. Caught myself a little frog. <laughs> His name is Freddy. Okay, I know he doesn't seem happy, but he's happy. Say hello, Freddy, be, be polite. I just wanna hold ya. I just wanna hold ya, relax. Relax, buddy, relax. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck, Freddy. Go. Freddy, I, go on. There you go. Good boy. Probably will. I don't want those. Okay. Well.